Okay, so let's understand what a page is. You see a, a small area which reads as pages, right? Are you are able to see that? Yeah. So uh, let's try and understand what pages is. So let's say that you want to understand what the values inside a field are going to be. So let's experiment with date. So let's drop dates here. Usually date is something which falls under, let's say that I make. Camp. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so let's say that uh, the investor wants to understand what are the spend, what are the categories where the expenses have been made for July. And uh, let's say that now I drop date. So let's say that he wants to uh, understand, let's have the color as well. Let's say that we have category, uh, category in the X axis and uh, the amount in the Y axis. But this gives an overall idea of the expenses of that month, right? But let's say that if you want to get into uh, the date column, so let's say that we want to explore what is the uh, expenses of category based on uh, or date wise. So in that, let's say that the investor is interested in looking at what are the spends for each date. So in that case, uh, we drop the date column into the pages. So pages gives you uh, one level uh, detailed view within the variable. So and usually date, year or month is normally uh, used, as, used as a field in pages. Of course, so again going by the basic understanding, so any investor or a project manager would be interested in looking at the breakup of the overall expenses date wise, right? So now it says that on 11, uh, the maximum spend is on, uh, okay, so the moment you drop pages, date into pages, you have something here on the right. So this is the pages option which we get the moment you drop. 